Welcome to the Cardiovascular Surgery Program at Mount Sinai Heart. I'm Dr. David Adams, the Cardiac Surgeon in Chief at Mount Sinai Health System. Here, you will find one of the most respected and experienced heart teams in the world today. From your very first interaction with our staff, through your last follow-up visit after surgery, our entire team is committed to providing you and your family with state-of-the-art and compassionate clinical care. In this short video, you will meet some of the many members of our team that will help ensure you have an outstanding experience at Mount Sinai. The laboratory tests and examinations will be reviewed by your doctors. Be sure to follow the instructions given to you by the pre-testing team, which may involve changes in your medication, as well as when to stop eating and drinking. Following videos will show you how to clean your skin with CHG wipes, and if needed, use mupirocin nasal swabs. These instructions are for how to use antiseptic chlorhexidine glutinate wipes. Preparing your skin with CHG wipes helps prevent infections. Except for face and underarms, do not shave, wax, remove body hair before the day of surgery. In addition to the day of surgery, your surgery preparation team will tell you how many nights before surgery you need to use the wipes. This will be either one or five nights. Do not use powder, deodorant, or lotion. First, wash your hair, face, and body with your regular shampoo, conditioner, and soap. Then, rinse off the regular shampoo, conditioner, and soap thoroughly. Pat your skin dry with a clean towel. Cover yourself with a towel or clean garment and wait 15 minutes. Remove garment and apply CHG wipes to cool dry skin as directed in the following video. On the morning of surgery, do not bathe or wash your hair. Do not use powder, deodorant, or lotion. Apply the wipes to cool dry skin as directed in the video to follow. Step 1. Use one wipe for your neck and chest. Be sure to focus on the center of your chest. Step 2. Use one wipe for both arms, starting with the shoulder and ending at the fingertips. Be sure to include your underarm and the entire circumference of your arm. Step three, use one wipe for your right and left hip, followed by your groin. Wipe the folds in the abdominal and groin areas. Be sure to avoid the genitals. Step four, use one wipe for your right leg and foot, starting at the thigh and ending at the toes. Be sure to include the entire circumference of your leg and foot. Step five, use one wipe for your left leg and foot, starting at the thigh and ending at the toes. Be sure to include the entire circumference of your leg and foot. Step six, use one wipe for your back, starting at the base of your neck and ending at your waistline. Lastly, wipe the buttocks. Here are some important tips. Do not rinse after cleaning your skin with the CHG wipes. Allow area to air dry for one minute. It is normal for your skin to feel sticky for several minutes. This will go away after your skin dries. Dress in clean clothes after your skin dries. Discard the wipes in the trash can. Do not flush down the toilet. Do not use powder, deodorant, or lotion. These are the instructions for using mupirocin nasal swabs. Staphylococcus aureus, also known as Staph aureus, is a bacteria commonly found on the skin or in the nose. In most cases, Staph aureus does not cause an infection, and when it is present without causing symptoms, this is called colonization. However, Staph aureus can cause infections of your incision after surgery. The surgery team will perform a nasal swab test to determine if you are colonized with Staph aureus. If you are, the team will prescribe treatment with mupirocin, an antibiotic ointment used to remove Staph aureus from your nose. Apply mupirocin once in the morning and once in the evening for five days before surgery and once on the morning of surgery. 
To apply, first wash your face and hands with soap and water. Then place a small amount of mupirocin ointment onto two cotton swabs. Gently apply the mupirocin directly inside the left and right nostrils using a new cotton swab for each nostril. Do not insert too deeply. If you feel discomfort, remove the cotton swab. After application into nostrils, press sides of nose together and gently massage to spread ointment throughout the insides of the nostrils for about one minute. Do not apply concurrently with any other intranasal products. Wash your hands after application. Please do not skip a dose. If you forget a dose, apply as soon as you remember. Your anesthesiologist will tailor a plan of care that best fits your medical needs. You will have an OR nurse who will help take care of you during the surgery. After performing your surgery, the surgical team will continue to play an active role in your care until you go home and beyond. Everyone in the operating room will work together to provide you the highest quality of care. When your surgery is finished, you will wake up in the ICU and be managed by a specialized cardiac intensive care team ready to monitor you and your heart and ensure a safe and expeditious recovery. Hey Mackenzie. Hey Dr. Varghese. Your dedicated cardiac surgical ICU nurse will keep a close eye on you and focus on your comfort and care. Hey John. Your ICU team will check in on you frequently to let you know how you are progressing and answer questions you or your loved ones may have. to experience some pain after heart surgery. We realize it's an individualized experience and our team will work with you to keep you comfortable. Here you go, Ms. Rosado. Just hug that against your incision site when you cough. <coughs> Good job. Hi, Ms. Smith. Hi. This is an incentive spirometer. Using it, will expand your lungs to help prevent infection. Place your mouth around this straw and inhale deeply. Okay. Great job. Your goal is to bring the blue marker above the 500 line while keeping the ball between the two arrows for as long as possible. Can I try again? Sure. It's also important to get out of bed and move after surgery. Hi, Brielle. Hi, Elliot. When you're medically ready, your physical therapist and your nurse will help get you out of bed, in the chair, and walking. Once you are ready, we will transfer you to our step-down unit to continue recovery. Social workers and case managers will help plan for your transition home. At Mount Sinai, we focus on patient and family-centered care. We will work with you so your family and friends can visit you at bedside. Our visiting hours in Step Down and ICU are flexible. We may ask you to step out if needed, but we'll welcome you back when it's safe. Thank you for your trust and confidence in our cardiovascular surgery program. We will do our very best to take perfect care of you.